Bill Wyndham, welcome to our mic. Hello. Bill, with that kind of background we were just referring to, you probably uh, could have had a brilliant political career, but you chose to be an actor. When did you make this decision? When I was in the Army at the inexcusable age of about 21. I don't regret the decision, but on the other hand, I don't suggest other people start at that soon somehow. It seems to me a mildly frivolous way to spend your time. I went into the insurance business for a while. Uh, I was a stagehand briefly. In Hollywood, my unemployment time has been taken up with relaxation, luckily. I've been able to not have to worry about it. Because actually the, the longest stretch I had was, I think, two months in which I took a trip to Mexico. But in New York, unemployment seemed to me to occur every other week or so, and uh, you had to fill it up with something. Well, now filling up all your time is your continuing role in The Farmer's Daughter. You're going into another season. What can we look forward to? Well, for those of your listeners who have never seen The Farmer's Daughter, it concerns itself with the story of the young girl from a rural district of Minnesota. Can she find happiness in the home of the congressman from that district in Washington, D.C., as the governess for his two children? He's a widow. The governess is Miss Inger Stevens, who looks and behaves beautifully Swedish and even manages to come sound like she comes from a rural part of Minnesota. And uh, the story has progressed now for some two years with the fact that uh, they have been supposedly in love with each other, or people have hoped they would be. And sure enough, here we are at the end of this second year engaged, and the beginning of the third year, I believe, we get married. <laughs> it was a long courtship. Uh, how did you elude her for two years? Well, it was sort of a mutual situation. We both wanted to be in love, and we both didn't want to be in love. It wasn't a case of her chasing me and me escaping. Occasionally I'd chase her and she'd get away. They managed to get through this in the movie in a matter of, what, two and a half hours. We've almost got two and a half years out of it. So you can see that it's uh, been dragged out somewhat. Was it at the insistence of the viewer that Glenn Morley and, and Katie are finally getting together? Whether that holds true for us, I don't know. I have seen some of the mail. People have spoken to me, and they're very nice, charming people from all parts of the country. And they've said, why don't you marry Katie, which is the big question. Or when are you going to marry Katie? Or... Uh, I counted, and uh, in the past two years, Mr. Morley, you've kissed Katie 144 times. What does your real wife think about that? What does your real wife think about that? I don't really know. She's never said much to me about it. She seems to ignore the whole problem entirely. Is your wife an actress? No, she is not, which makes things a lot easier. <laughs> it certainly does. Uh, do you have any children? I do indeed. I have three little girls, two stepdaughters and a little girl who is named Rachel. The other two daughters, the stepdaughters, are named Margie and Debbie. They're nine and seven. House filled with women. You know, strange thing, they're all from California, my wife and, and three daughters. I'm the only one that's ever heard thunder and, and seen lightning before. And the other night, two nights ago, there was a little mild thunderstorm. I ended up with four women in my bed at three in the morning. They all just pile in with shaking and yelling for help. Imagine that. Simple little thunderstorm. They've got headlines in the papers about it. Well, I think that Congressman Morley and Katie's wedding will also make headlines this season. Bill Wyndham, thank you for being our guest and continued success on The Farmer's Daughter, ABC Television. It was a pleasure. Thank you.